Hey, welcome back students. In this video lesson, I wanna go ahead and talk to you about the signs that a chemical reaction occurred. There's actually several signs that we can think of. And so let me just go ahead and write them all down for you and then we'll kind of explore them individually as we go through, okay? One of the first signs that you've got a chemical reaction is going to be that there is a change in color. Now, the most common thing that we see here is typically something, let's say that you have, uh, for example, a leaf. That's the one of the most common things. You got a leaf, and the leaf here is typically going to be green. And oftentimes, when we look at the leaves outside, depending on the season, we usually see that they're green during spring and summertime, but eventually these leaves eventually turn a different color. And they maybe perhaps they turn yellow. And so that's one of the things that you wanna keep in mind as you go through this, that color changes are definitely gonna be one of those things that, um, show us the difference in a chemical reaction. Obviously here we're talking about the leaf, but inside the leaf, those chemicals in that leaf are the ones that are actually engaging in that chemical process and we tend to see that the color there is gonna be uh, a difference. Uh, and because of that change, we know that the chemical reaction was taking place or has already taken place there. Now we can also tell that there's a chemical reaction because of the second version here. Usually what we see here is gas generation uh, or gas formation. And typically, this one here, you have a vessel of some sort, you've got some kind of container, and you mix some kind of compound or su substance A with B, and one of the things that it generates here is going to be gases coming out. The third way that you tell that the uh, chemical reaction actually took place is very similar to the second one where gas is formed, but here, what we're looking for here is the production of odor. Like in the previous example, what you have is you'll have the container, and inside this container, you'll have some kind of substance A reacting with some substance B, but what we will see is that it will have these gas particles coming out that eventually we are going to smell. And so this right here is going to be the odor that we eventually pick up and that we actually smell. Obviously it is in the form of a gas, so two and three are very similar. However, in two, you're not necessarily gonna get an odor from that, but in three, there is a distinct odor associated uh, with mixing A and B together. The fourth uh, way that you tell that you have a chemical reaction here is going to be by the production here of a precipitate. And so let's just say that it's a precipitate is formed. And in this example here, let's say that you've got that same container here and you are going to be putting A into the container and B into the container. And A and B in this particular case are going, going to be uh, liquids, for example. And so as a liquid, what will happen is that it'll come in here, you'll have the liquid at the bottom, but the thing that will be interesting about this is when you actually mix them together, you're gonna to start to see that at the bottom, you're gonna find a little bit of this uh, solid that is formed. This portion right here is what we call the precipitate and we abbreviate it in equations as PPT. But this precipitate tells you that there was a little bit of a product formed that is not soluble in the solution. Uh, for this particular container. And so those are four ways that you tell that a chemical reaction took place. And then the last way that you tell that a chemical reaction took place is the fifth way. And this one here is gonna be through the generation or the release of energy. Now, don't be fooled, energy is uh, gonna be released in various ways. One of the ways that it's released is released in the form of heat. Another way that it's released is in the form of sound. And then the other way that it's released is the actual uh, production of light. And all of these may be accompanied with a certain boom or bang associated with it, but not necessarily, but these are three subways that this energy is released. And of course, this happens when you mix, say, for example, A and B together, and you'd get to see that. A common day example that you'll see this is, for example, things like when you mix certain chemicals together, they turns hot. Uh, which is the basic foundation for some of these hand warmers that we have out there. Uh, we definitely use these in class to, to study and explore, but you can see here when you mix two things in the little packets, they actually generate a, a reaction that produces heat. 
And so this is a very easy way, these five things, to tell you that a chemical reaction took place. So if you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe so you can keep uh, getting all these updates for these lessons. Keep watching, keep learning, and we'll see you in the next video.